The IPLEX NX video scope offers inspection management with the image folder structure and the file mark function. This video will show you how to prepare your video scope to manage inspections using an aircraft engine inspection as an example. Before inspecting the engine, make some simple preparations in the image folders. For instance, here are the image folders I created. The second layer of folders holds the locations of this engine for standard inspections. When I inspect the compressor blades, I usually start with a compressor blade stage 1, so I'll select the HPC1 folder. Next, insert the scope to check the stage 1 compressor blade. When you take a still image, the IPLEX NX video scope shows you this pop-up screen to manage the inspection and record images. The location is the stage 1 compressor, so click yes to go to the next step. The next step is to add your evaluation of the target object. Select either X for none, A for accepted, B for review minor, C for review major, or D for rejected. My evaluation of this compressor blade is accepted because it only shows minor scratches, so I will select A. Now, add a title or description of the image. In this example, the Stage 1 compressor blade has some minor scratches in normal condition, so I will select Normal Condition. The image, along with the information from the inspector, is stored in the Stage 1 folder. Once you've finished the inspection of a location, you can change the color of the folder from white to green to mark it as completed. To do so, press and hold the folder button, then press and hold the current folder. Later in this video, we'll explain this procedure in detail. When you complete your inspection of all locations using this procedure, you will see that the first layer folder will also change to green. By checking the folder color, you will know that all the inspections are completed. Now let's review how to prepare the inspection folders. Insert a new SD card to save your image. The IPLEX NX video scope automatically creates a folder structure. The created folder should read DCIM forward slash 100 IPLEX. You can change the second layer folder name or add new folders, but you can't create or rename the first layer folders on the video scope. However, you can make a copy of your own first and second layer folder structure on your PC. Making folders on the SD card with your PC is easy. Simply insert the SD card into your PC and open Explorer, then add folders as you like. The folder structure must be in first and second layers. You cannot use a space in the folder names. If you make a standard folder structure on your PC or server, you can copy them when you need a new blank folder set. You can also share the folder structures within your organization to use them for standard inspection procedures. FileMark is a unique function of the IPLEX NX video scope that guides your inspection steps and image recording. It works by guiding you to the image storage location, your inspection evaluation identification, and the title input from a drop-down list. This function helps to standardize your inspection image recording steps. To use the FileMark function, store some information to the IPLEX internal memory. The IPLEX SD card is used to store information to the IPLEX internal memory. Using your PC, create a preset folder on the root of the IPLEX SD card. In the preset folder, create files named mark underscore set dot dat and title dot dat. Now let's review how to create a mark underscore set dat file. Use Explorer to open the preset folder. Right click and start the Windows Note Editor. To create the mark underscore set dat file, add text as shown here and save this file as mark underscore set dot text. Then rename it as mark underscore set dot dat. You can add your own text with a maximum of 15 letters for A, B, C, and D. X no mark is fixed. To create a title.dat file in the preset folder, 
Start Windows Note Editor, then add text to describe the condition or information of the target object. Each text line should be 30 letters or less. You can add as many as 108 lines for the titles. Save this file as title.txt and rename it to title.dat. The titles are shown on the IPlex NX video scope in the order of this title file, so you can decide the order of the titles as you like. After creating the mark underscore set.dat and title.dat files in the preset folder on your IPlex SD card, use the SD card to transfer the data to the IPlex internal memory. Make sure the power of your IPlex NX video scope is off, then insert the SD card. Next, turn on the video scope to copy the two files in the preset folder to the IPlex internal memory. The video scope will turn on as usual. There will be no message on the video scope screen about the preset data, but the data is now copied to the IPlex internal memory. To set up the file mark function, open the IPlex menu and press the recording tile. Then press file mark and turn it on. To test the file mark function, just save an image to see the file mark message sequence. You will see the XABCD selection and title selection if the preset data is in the IPlex internal memory. Please note that the preset title list can be seen when you go from menu to title. When you hit the preset button in the title input window, you will find the list of titles in the IPlex internal memory. We recommend that you select the folder of your inspection location when you start the inspection. There are three ways to select your inspection folder. The first option is to use the arrow buttons located at the bottom right corner of the touch screen. To display the arrow buttons, select Basic Menu. The default folder is displayed on the top left corner of the screen. Use the up and down arrows to select a second layer folder. Press the left arrow to move to the first layer folder, then use the up and down arrows to select a first layer folder. When you change the first layer folder, use the right arrow and up and down arrows to select a second layer folder. The second way is to use the small joystick on the remote controller. By tilting the small menu joystick up, down, left and right, you can select the folder. It works the same as the touchscreen arrows. The third way is to use the folder list. When you press and hold the thumbnail icon on the screen or the thumbnail button on the remote controller, the list of folders will display on the screen. Use the up, down, left and right arrows to select the folder where you want to store images. The IPlex NX video scope enables you to change the color of the image folders so that you can identify if the inspection is completed at a glance. This visual function is useful when you have many locations to inspect or when multiple inspectors on different working shifts are involved in the same machine inspections. Let's review how it works. The second layer image folders of the IPlex NX video scope represent the inspection locations. When you save images in a second layer folder, the total number of images in the folder is displayed after the folder name. However, other operators won't know if your inspection of this location is completed or still ongoing unless you change the color of the image folders. By changing the color of the second layer folder, you can see the inspection status. To do this, press and hold the thumbnail icon or button to display the folder list window, then press and hold the second layer folder. The folder text color will change from white to green. The color identification is shown on the top left folder text as well. As you can see, the first layer folder is white. This means that the inspection has completed for this location, but not for the entire machine. As you change all the second layer folders to green, the first layer folder will automatically change to green. This means that the machine inspections are completed.
When you press and hold the first layer folder in the folder list selection window while the folder text is white, this folder and all the second layer folders within it will change to green. When you press and hold the first layer folder while it's green, this folder and all the second layer folders within it will change to white. After you change the first and second layer folders to green, you can change specific second layer folders back to white. To do so, simply press and hold each folder until it changes color. In this case, we kept the first layer folder as green and changed a few second layer folders to white. This function is useful when you have many inspection locations, but you don't need to inspect them all. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helps you standardize your inspection procedure. If you have questions, please contact your local Olympus representative or visit olympus-ims.com.